The transition game, it really is a di differentiator among many, many athletes. The ability to read the play, the ability to turn defense into offense, or to turn your neutral ball into offense. That's really what we're trying to talk about when we talk transition movement. Transition movement has two major components to it. You have the defensive to offensive transition or defensive to neutral transition, or the neutral to offensive. Both of them become very, very important to change the pace of play and also to transition possibly into the net. So a lot of players really use the transition when they get a shorter ball, they be very aggressive with it and then they shift their body into the net. There's a lot of different footwork patterns that can be used and we're going to explore some of them. We're also going to utilize medicine balls to help with that transition game as well as resistance and assistance training. One aspect of transitioning is really getting your athlete to move forward aggressively. And one of the challenges a lot of the time is understanding that there's really three main aspects of this mid-court range. It's right near the baseline, it's three or four steps inside the baseline, and then it's pretty close to the service line. And all those positions are transitionable, meaning an athlete can be real aggressive with their ground strokes, they can go after the ball, uh, and then they can move forward potentially to the net. So we're going to do a three ball series that highlights those three major transitioning shots on the forehand side. So we're going to bring our athlete in, start at the center tee. Uh, we're just going to hit those three forehands. There's the first one, the second one, back to the center, and then the third one. Good. And as you can see, with each step, the athlete's moving further in, they're getting more aggressive, and we want to make sure they understand the right footwork patterns. So let's do that again. Get out there. Good. Good. Last one. Good. So the athlete really understands the purpose behind this, is moving forward. Once they get the comfort zone here, then we shift it up where the coach actually moves with them more to make it even more realistic. Okay, so make it harder now. Good. Come on. Back. Come on. Good. The challenge there is you have to time it right so that he's continually moving forward and the ball's in the strike zone that it would be. And again, the purpose of doing the hand feeding variations is to make sure that you as a coach can focus in on the athlete's footwork patterns. Really, really important aspect of this movement. So we're going to be working on the transition movement with the medicine ball now. Again, you can use a basketball if you're working with younger athletes. Uh, our objective here is to work on that transition footwork so we're going to have the athlete do a three medicine ball rotation, similar to how they were doing it when they were hitting. The objective here is to load open stance on the first two shots and then close stance on the third shot, just to really go through the right movement patterns. So we've got our athlete ready to go. So we go wide. Good, arms straight. Chest up. Now close stance. Good, let's do it again. Okay, let's work on it. Good, slide into it. Good, chest up, now close stance. Good, there we go, one more time. More aggressive now, now you got the movement pattern down. Good, load, good, very nice. Open, good, now close it up. Good, very good. So our objective there is to make sure the athlete gets comfortable loading on their open outside leg on the open stance and then setting that outside leg, transitioning to the closed stance when we're working on that shorter ball. Really, really important to pay attention to technique when we're doing all these drills so the athlete understands their objective. So the next progression incorporates the resistance band, the bungee, the elastic tubing. The objective here is to actually stand behind the athlete, provide resistance in all three strokes that they're going to hit. Again, the goal of the resistance is to provide enough resistance for the athlete that they have to work a little bit harder than they can work by themselves. In this drill, again, we're going to use the racket as a shield, so they're going to cover themselves with the racket so that they can rotate with their hips driving the motion, so the upper body and lower body works together. So the, the coach, the resistance is behind the athlete and the athlete's going to move to the side, mid-court, short ball. Okay, ready to go? Go, three balls. Go ahead. Good. Get out there. Good. Back to the middle. 
Get out there, come on, quick. Let's do it. Work, let's work. Come on, get short. Big steps, good. Big steps. Chest up, come on. One more time, keep that chest up. Good technique here, good. Turn those hips. Good, one more time. Good, and stop. Very nice work. So the objective here is really to make sure that the athlete doesn't collapse, doesn't change the body position because he's got resistance against him, and to make sure that he's working as a unit. So his hips are driving the motion, his upper body goes with his hips all the way through the entire sequence.